go to the uh, playing games on Wednesday. We have got the Philadelphia 76ers who fell from one of the top three seeds early in the season to drop in the seventh only because Joel Embiid has been out these last couple months, but he has been back the last week and playing relatively well. And they will be going up against Joel Embiid's former teammate and the reigning defending Eastern Conference champions, Jimmy Butler, Bam Adebayo, Eric Spolstra, and the Miami Heat. Man, I think this is going to be one of them old-school defensive Grind out type of games. I'm going to go with the Philadelphia 76ers. You can never count out the uh, Miami Heat. Obviously, Heat culture. They're always like the Undertaker gift where they always raise from the dead. They always have mediocre regular seasons. They do what they need to do to come play all time. But this isn't a, a, a thing of Jimmy Butler just, you know, holding his energy. I think he's just not that good this year. I think Philadelphia is a team that I would not want to face. They've got a good chance to do what they need to do and maybe ruin the party for the Celtics or the, or the Knicks this year. So I'm going to go with the Sixers in this one. I think Joel Embiid, Tyrese Maxey, and them, them boys are going to get it done. Um, Dante, man, how you feel? think it's going to go down in the city of brotherly love on Wednesday? Um, I know I just shit on both of these teams, but – um. <laughs> I think Jimmy gets it done. I think Jimmy gets it done. Um, Embiid, I've, again, like we said, we've been waiting for years for this shit to finally pop off. Um, he's back. He's playing well. But then it's just, what's going to happen come playoff time? Because my biggest thing that I've just always stuck with me about, bro, is he was quick to throw Ben Simmons into that bus. Boy, you was playing like shit, too. Like, <laughs> he, he was playing bad, bro. And so, for as much as they, you know, did that, that's why I always wonder with, bro, like, what is the production going to be? And when he hits that wall, how is the rest of the team going to respond? So, um, and as far as his playing game, I think I'm, I'm going to go with the Miami Heat. I think uh, Jimmy, Jimbo gets it done. And, you know, once again, I go in doubting Jimmy Butler, and I'm pretty sure he's going to make a fool out of me. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead this year and say Miami gets it done, at least in the play-in. Uh, bang, are you rolling with Jimbo G. Buckets? Or are you rolling nah, with, uh, I ain't rolling Philly. with damn Jimmy Buc <laughs> Buckets on this shit. <laughs> Nigga, nigga, Philly. <laughs> and no other explanations. No other explanation either, nigga. I'm going with Philly <laughs> on that one. Nah, I can't. I can't do it with this heat culture shit no more, fam. Are you tired like, of heat culture? I'm tired of heat culture, fam. No, heat culture need to win a title in order to be a goddamn culture, fam. Philly winning this shit by five. I mean, to be fair, he coached was there when Spolster and them niggas was winning with Bron and them. So. Yeah, but they wasn't talking about that shit like they talk about that shit with Jimmy. Oh, they say on Levitar, uh, he culture is a cult. That, 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 exactly. That's Take they fucking ass to Waco, Texas, goddamn. That paper on his player, haters, old news, money on the other line.